the room. So over here, I just have his little laundry bin. I got this big bin at Target. Um, I actually wanted one that had a top on it, but for now, I just threw this one over in the corner because it goes with the room. Um, I just had extra pillows that I'll probably be using on his little chair over there. So I just put that in there for now. <laughs> um, the wall back here is from Project Nursery and they are just little wall paint decals and they're all different colors. And I wasn't gonna put anything on this wall, but I felt like it just needed a little something. It felt really white and cool and plain in here. So that is why I added those. This is the baby's name, Nash Hendricks. He, I got this off Etsy. Um, I can leave that link below. It's so cool. It's just a wooden laser print. I think it is so nice. And then this is the baby's little mobile. I got this from Amazon. It's really pretty. It has like these little gray pom-poms with these wooden stars, white pom-poms. And then this is like a little gray elephant. Whoop. <laughs> and then over here, I don't have it set up exactly yet, is the baby's camera, um, which I will probably be bringing downstairs because that's where he will be for a while. But we went with the lollipop camera. Um, and I really like the video quality on it. Um, and then here is the baby's crib. He is not going to be in it for a while, but this is just the Ikea crib. This one I think is only $79 from Ikea. Um, I was surprised I even got it because this shipped during COVID and I didn't think I was going to get it at all, but um, I did get that. And then over here, I just threw in my Snuggle Me um, breastfeeding pillow. And then the mattress we went with is the Newton mattress, which is the breathable mattress. And um, I did put over this muslin cotton sheet, just mainly for looks, but you really don't even need a sheet for this mattress. You can take it out and wash it right in the bathtub which is amazing. Um, so if you guys want any or have any questions about that mattress, I will leave that link below. They usually do like a $50 off. It's an expensive mattress. It is not cheap, but for the peace of mind that it gives you, um, definitely worth it. And then this is the chair we went with. This is just from Target. I believe it's called the Avery chair. Let me zoom you out a little bit. Um, it is in like a creamish white, it's coming off kind of yellow because of the lighting in here, um, but it's like a creamish white color, pairs really well in the room. And then I, I think that was like three something. And then I got this ottoman from Wayfair. This was $70 and it is just like a wooden, a wooden, like a wicker color natural. I wanted it to match a lot of like the woods in here and things like that. And this is my little side table for breastfeeding and put all my stuff here. I want to put a little picture of my older son and the baby. And then back here, I just have my hatch sound machine. And then I just got this little plant from Target. And then this table is from Amazon. It was so easy to put together and it was only like, I wanna say 20 some dollars. So I can leave that link below and it's like really good quality. And then these pictures are like some of my favorites. Um, I got these off of Safari Animal Prints. I can leave their Instagram down below. They have so many different pictures. Um, this one was the first one I got. It's just two baby bears playing on a rope. I just thought that was so sweet. And then this one I got a little baby elephant, um, gray, just to kind of 
pair with the mobile over there and the frames are just from TJ Maxx but they have the cutest prints you guys and I will leave that linked love that and then my windows I want to get new blinds I hate these blinds for some reason they just bother me but I've had these curtains in here for a long time these are from Pottery Barn they're like a um thick linen curtain they're just white they're really nice and once these blinds are shut it, they actually like block out a lot of light and then this curtain rod I just got from TJ Maxx a while ago so there's like nothing over here <laughs> then if we come over here I got this little it's like a coffee cup holder off Amazon I've been seeing this in like all the nurseries so I just hung a couple decor things on there this little camera I got off Amazon it was like five dollars um, these are little Binky holders, just some extras I had. Oh, hi. Are you coming to say hi? <laughs> and then this right here is my wrap for the baby. I ended up going with this like taupey grayish <laughs> color. Um, and this is from Solly Baby. So this is the Solly Baby wrap. I didn't even like wrap it up nice on here. I just like threw it on here. But so that's just hanging there. And then my husband picked the baby up some little Nike hats. And one was white. So I thought it paired nice on here. But then if we turn this way, this is the baby's dresser his changing table, his little mirror, and some other stuff. So this is just his trash can. Obviously, we went with the decor um, brand. I actually watched videos on what trash bin was better, and this one had great reviews. So it's just a step one, and it's supposed to, like, really cover up any smells because of the extra container it came with a bunch of trash bags and you literally just pop them out I think the back or something um so you don't have to like dig them out and all that fun stuff um I just got this little lamp at Target I believe it was like $15 with a little light bulb and it just matches all the blue in the room especially the paint decals on the other side and then this little bear was from my husband. He picked this up at Bye Bye Baby. It's actually one of those that you can warm up if you have like a stomach ache. It's called a, a warmies. <laughs> you put them in the microwave and it's like filled with beans, so it's really heavy, but it's just so cute. I just left it on the table here. And then this picture was the absolute first picture I bought for the nursery, um, I like found this artist on Instagram and I just like fell in love with this picture. I don't know why. I didn't wanna do like an animal theme or anything like that, but this picture was so cute and the blue fish matches like the blue in the lamp and all the blue that is in the room, but I tried to keep the room pretty neutral. Um, so yeah, I just love this picture, the dark brown and gray and blue. I just think it's so pretty. I ended up not even hanging this picture. I just liked it sitting here for now. Um, I couldn't find a good spot for it, so that's where it is. And... This mirror is just from Target, um, just the gray mirror, hi baby, he's still like so high, I need him to drop, <sighs> I am so ready to have this little man, <laughs> um, and then here is the baby's diaper changing little table thing, little pad, this is the hatch one, this is the one that weighs your baby. Um, so I have an app on my phone that connects to this because I am breastfeeding. I'm just 
like going to be overly worried that <laughs> if the baby is like gaining weight and stuff. And I just thought that because it tied in with this changing pad, this was perfect. I was going to get the other one that everybody gets, the peanut one. Um, but I went with this because of the scale on it. But this just wipes off just the same. It's just a hard surface. And I mean, it's hard, but it's like squishy. And I also have um, little like covers that go on it, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Here is the dresser I got for baby. This is um, off of Amazon. I wanted the one from Ikea originally, but I couldn't get it shipped out to me. So I wanted the room done, and so I got this one. So this one has six drawers, just like the one from Ikea. I believe the two top ones, though, are separated, but whatever. Um, so I guess I'll just kind of go through and show you guys how I organized his drawers. So these are all his burp cloths. I also got these dividers from Amazon. I picked up two packs. They were like $10, I think, for a pack of six of them. Um, and they're all different sizes. So I got burp cloths over here. Um, these are just like flannel blankets. I have a bunch of those in here. These are the covers that I was telling you about. I got these off Amazon also. This is just the Munchkin brand. And you just lay them on top of the um, scale. So if they have any blowouts or anything, you can just wash this and just so it's not cold. And then I have some downstairs for the changing pad in my room, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Over here, I just have a bunch of wipes a bunch of diapers, um, I have some, what is this, cream, I have a diaper bum, diaper cream brush, I have some hand wash, some boogie wipes, some aquaphor, um, I also had like a, a, uh, a and D and I had like a bunch of other stuff, but I ended up moving that stuff downstairs because I just have a feeling we're not going to be up here a lot <laughs> in the beginning, so I will obviously rotate things um, when I need to. In this drawer are all of the baby socks. I just got new socks I threw in here. I have to wash these, so I kept the tags on. Um, all the baby socks and just a couple little pairs of mittens for the beginning in case his outfit doesn't have the little mittens on it. I have some slippers I got. Look at these cookie slippers. Snack time, they're so cute. Some more little slippers that snap on. These daddy bought. They're just like these little army converse things. They're so cute. I have a whole bin of binkies and his little wub -a nub And I have a bunch of other binkies that I put in his... Um, diaper bag to take to the hospital to see like what kind he likes. This bin over here is all hats. I picked this up for Halloween since he's going to be here before Halloween. I have all different kinds of hats. Some are from, I believe, Lulu. Some are from Amazon. Um, I just have a bunch of these and some of these are like thick, which are going to be great for the winter time and I wanted different colors. So I picked up those and then this bin is all his like bibs, his drool bibs. I have some copper pearl ones and then I have packs from just Amazon and I also have like just regular bibs. This was actually my older son's. So I found a bunch of stuff of his and I washed them to reuse with the baby and then over here is all his like onesies there's like newborn zero to three um these ones are from h&m these are a little bit bigger one to two and then these are like the different patterned ones couple different patterns on the bottoms. I like a lot of plain things. <laughs> and then over here I have all his like sleepers. This is the nested bean sleeper. I have these other sleepers from Target. My mom bought him this cute little cuddly sleeper that's knitted. 
And then that blanket down there, I washed. That was my son's um, knitted blanket and my son's little silk blanket he had. Um, those are just really sentimental to me. So they get to go in the drawer. <laughs> and then down here, I just have different outfits, little jeans <laughs> and H&M outfit. Some stuff is a little bit bigger. Um, then I got him these for Halloween. Just little outfits over here. All his other outfits are in the closet. And then here's all his sleepers. These are newborn. These are, I think all zero to three, maybe zero to three. I have some three months, some six months. And then I have a bunch in the closet um, that I didn't wash yet because that was a lot of work just washing all these clothes. <laughs> And then over here is the swing we went with. This one is travel size and it actually can extend so it can be taller. Um, and it's just quiet, battery operated. I figured this would be really nice if I'm going to like grandma's house or something and I can literally pack this up. It just folds up and I can throw it in my trunk. Um, so that is why I went with the smaller one. It's also easy just to carry downstairs and stuff. So that is just sitting here and the gray, white, and blue match his room. <laughs> that is just a cubby that actually is holding all of our Halloween or our holiday decor. So I need to go in there and pick out all our house fall stuff, if you were wondering. <laughs> and then over here, I had this bookshelf in my office. Um... A while ago so I figured I'd use it up here because um, I turned my office into my bedroom downstairs um, so this is just a little plant I got from Target little slippers I just thought they were so cute so I put them up here I have some blocks to take pictures with this is a little Montessori toy that I got off Amazon it just looked cute up here so I left it this is a baby book that was my son's, my older son. He had two and I never used this one. So I found it in the attic and I'm going to use it for this baby. And then these neutral letters I just picked up at Michael's. I decided not to paint them because I liked how neutral they were and they kind of went with everything in the room. This little baby cross was my son Bradley's. Um, so I brought it out here. <laughs> I just have a pile of books that we've been getting. Eventually I'll actually have them like laid out nice, but for now, these are the books that we've gotten um, for baby so far. And then here is the Frida humidifier. I think it's like a humidifier, a light thing and um, a diffuser or something like that. So I have that for in here. And then this is just one of the baby sonogram pictures. I think that was our first like 3D one. I thought that was cute. These are, this is a bin of just flannel blankets. So I have a bunch of those. And then this bin is like all baby toys stuff that I just got, stuff that's not even open. I have a little husher in there for when he's in the stroller. I have like rings in here. Look at this banana. I cannot. So we have all his little toys in there. And I guess I can show you guys the rug. I got this rug off Rugs USA. I wanted something just kind of tie in all the colors in the room. I don't know if you can actually pick it up on camera. But it is like blue, gray, and there's little bits of tan over here, white. And it just kind of ties everything together. Look at this is the dog spot. He loves coming in here <laughs> and just laying by the window. That's where he lays. And then if I'm sitting in the chair over here, he's usually like under the table. It's so funny. But he's so cute. And then 
This is the baby's closet, which I probably shouldn't show you because it is a mess because I haven't gotten it organized yet. This is stuff that we've just gotten from the baby shower, so we still have to put all that away. This, if I can turn the light on, is the baby Bajorn bouncer. That goes to his stroller. That's just an extra bag. I have like all these clothes for him, all different sizes going up to like 12 months. I cannot wait to put him in this like little snowsuit. Um, and then up here, I just have extra wipes, diapers, nursing pads, stuff that has to go into his diaper bag. I just have stuff over there that goes to his baby Bajor bouncer, extra batteries for the swing, daddy's little diaper bag his stroller. I have his high chair from Ikea, just a box. Um, I have one of those sit me up um, toys. I have a thing that goes on the crib when you want to um, make it into a bed if you wanted to keep it that way. I just have so much stuff you guys. So this still has to be organized but it's really not that bad. I'm not going to use anything in here for a while except the diapers. So this is Baby Nash's little room tour. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little room tour. I wanted to do it before he gets here and everything is just kind of chaotic with a newborn. Um, I'm obviously not going to upload this yet because you guys don't know the name. Neither does anybody in my family. But when he is here, I will definitely upload this video so you guys can see the little nursery that we put together. We are so excited for him. I am like ready to pop him out. <sighs> 39 weeks and he's gotta go. So um, yeah, you guys, I can't, my back is like killing me. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. I will try and link everything down below that I can. And if you have any questions, Feel free to leave a comment. Please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.